Now what just happened, I started to do these <laughs> the hair and then I had to go over to skin because this man is bald. I went to skin to now you must know thy colors in order to be able to do that because I just grabbed a few more than I already had in my hand. But I can't search for them. I have to know which ones are the colors and now that we've worked a little bit with this like maybe a week or two. I have a little bit of a, an idea. So the idea I have is which colors I need and where to find them in my in my sheet, in my box. Quickly and easy. There's no way I can interrupt to show you what I'm doing because as I explained before, it, you have to be super fast to get the shades, the color. Now they're all shade and shade. Now to mix them and blend them together. No, well they're, they're all like shade and shade, but they have different shades. I want to... Is it to delimit? Delimit it. One way it starts and the other one ends. Now I look again. What's happening here? In the picture it's really hard to see where's the hair and where the skin starts. There. No, I handle this here, right? <laughs> handle this. Good cat. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You first, right? So I definitely am unable to hold all these pens in my hand and be safe because they actually start as I grab them, they start falling off the of the cups, and that's frustrating because I fall. I don't know where. <laughs> Now that we finally have grasped the concept of how to use the colors, the this, uh, this School of Athens uh, seems like a stupid exercise to me. It's a great idea to, to use them um, to do the shadings of the skin first, or the hands first, and the hair, or something like that, repeating patterns, because um, that will overall bring the harmony in any art, art display. Same colors or colors, color and color. I definitely suggest to do it that way, this way. I did not wish to do all the details on the left side, and I did not wish to put out the colors and then the, get the shade again, which from the pencil was erased, and then the pigment liner came on top. I prefer to do it that other way. It's hard because the, the pigment liner is too thick. To make it look like a real painting, it probably ends up looking like a comic strip. And then, and then there's something else. All these little dots, they pull out. I just recently noticed them um, while I opened the pens. They spread my sheet full of little, little colored dots. I'm gonna take the photo now. And so as I work, I most definitely must take the moment to, after each little section, to put every color back in its place. To have a neat and organized environment and find the next shade. Now observe. These three colors go very well together. But look how they look. The brightest shade is on top. Okay. To me, they don't look exactly as they come out. It's difficult to grab them, so you have to learn. Maybe this one goes well. 
but this one is already weird maybe when it's dry so it's, it's sometimes it can be confusing I can't even begin to tell you how demeaning the setup is to, to do this all. It's just, it's all falling kind of apart and it's, it's amazingly hard and difficult in this tiny space where everything is kind of so ridiculously delicate. And, uh, I am forced to tell you I must, but I don't really want to. So.